Welcome to the kitchen. Maybe I just really went in way over my head on this. I am a professional stripper. You're a little cabinet troll. Here. Okay. I haven't touched the kitchen in like a month. I really needed a break. Because so much of the kitchen is done and we can use most of it, I've just kind of been like, whatever. I had to really kick myself in the butt to start again today. When we were backsplashing, the stuff that we used was professional grade or not recommended for beginners. It was curing so fast. And on top of that, our tiles are, you know, different thicknesses and it has that natural look. In certain areas, the grout would gunk up a bit and it cured and it made the grout lines extra thick in some areas. So I had to scrape it off, scrape some of it off today. I'm gonna touch up all the places that we got grout on. It kind of looks like a bloody murder scene. Murder. 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 If we had just protected those areas better, we wouldn't have to touch up this much. But I still have a couple of nicks to touch up with the cabinets and some extra things that I forgot to paint for the cabinets. So have a bit of white, have a bit of blue. We have to get started on making these floating shelves and it's been like start and go, start and go, start and go. It's just been, it's going. I'm wearing gloves because I'm on the other side. Um, table saws are scary. Kickback is scary. These floating shelves, we first rented a table saw to cut miter cuts. And the first table saw that we rented wouldn't even do 45 degrees. So that was the first issue. Tried to find a friend that had a table saw, which proved to be very tricky. Finally found one and was able to make most miter cuts except cross cuts. Our circular saw can't do miter cuts. These shelves are, I've tried to start it so many times and haven't been able to finish it. We're kind of stuck. Fun fact, when Steph and I first started dating, I wanted to get floating shelves. He made custom ones for me and I remember putting them into the wall or he taught me how to put them into the wall myself and I made so many holes in my bedroom wall just to install them but they were the nicest floating shelves I've ever had and it's come full circle because now I'm making my own and it's pretty crazy it is the very first warm day of the year I feel like I've committed to making these shelves in this way. I don't think I needed to make it this complicated, but I really like the finish of a mitered cut. I think it makes the shelf look much cleaner. Um, I've seen it attached in other ways. It is much simpler than how I'm doing it. So uh, don't do it my way. <laughs> Man, this is really hard <laughs> when you don't have the right tools. Uh, I ran into some trouble yesterday. My angles are all sorts of wonky. My brackets uh, are wrong. So I have to take these apart and redo these all over again. But yeah, it's another warm day. 
I'm gonna try this again. If it's too hot, stay in the shade. Moment of truth. Mookie wish us luck. What the heck? It's not that bad. They're not perfect. I'd say, like, this is near failing. Like, if I was doing this in school, they would tell me to cut it and redo it again. But it is fixable. All right. Now, three more. daylight for one <laughs> yeah. last one Ugh, I'm an idiot again <laughs> I didn't miter this side it's straight Two are definitely workable. Yeah. Yeah. High five. Just get her done, and then we'll see after. Mm. We'll put them up. If they look like shit, then we take them down. Yeah. Right? There's no there's no consequence here. It's not like working on a car where somebody dies. The boxes are assembled. The brackets are assembled. I mixed my own wood filler. I did some cuts and collected sawdust. Steph kept asking me, are you sure you don't want to paint it? Because you know, the best way to hide these flaws is to paint it and I'm so determined to not paint it. The kitchen is very modern and I want life and warmth with the backsplashes, some life, but wood grain is a little bit more life. I don't know how to explain it. We'll see how it dries. I'm gonna have to sand the shit out of this, but also not sand it too much because it's plywood and I don't wanna go through. And then stain it and we'll see. If you saw my stair project, that was a mix of paint and stain. That'll be my next step. I'll just keep adding a little bit of paint to tint it, to camouflage some of the flaws. But you know, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm so scared. This is like, this is when I find out if this really worked or not. As you can see, the sun has set. Can I tell you, this is, I track my hours where I work. This is how long I spent sanding today. Was that necessary? <laughs> so this end cabinet, it was very hard to imagine because I only had so little space. The countertop lady recommended that we cut a slab that's really only 
I think this was two and a half inch wide. We definitely had a bit more room as you can see the gap between the trim and the wall. I mean, I think a pro would know how to estimate and cut everything right to size and make it look great. I just have to paint out behind the wall. I feel like it looks like a proper spacer. It doesn't look like I wasted a random super wide cabinet that does nothing. So it finishes off the slide in range quite well. I don't know how to attach to a wall, but yeah, see? Looks pretty good, right? And then I have also the littlest toe kick. Yeah. Oh, see? See, this is what pros would know. I forgot to edge band this. So then when you're finishing it, now you see that the side is not finished. The littlest things you just learn. trying to put together the cabinet mm -hmm. but then when I drill through it mm -hmm. it doesn't squish together but at the same time it's very hard because this starts spinning what starts spinning this one yeah yeah did you drill all the way through pilot hole yeah I don't have a pilot hole do I need a pilot hole if it would help done today. Yay! Let's hope it all fits. to be where is it oh to that mark yeah <gasps> <laughs> i watched you do it i didn't say anything oh oh my god i'm so off now what <laughs> it's okay it's just when one wasted you have to put a third one in this is how you learn you didn't say anything on purpose yes you don't learn if you don't make mistakes maybe i should put one right here no you're just chuckling behind me, <laughs> so satisfied with yourself. I asked you, did you measure? <laughs> I and did. you're like, yes. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> professional stripper.
Never mind, I have another side to do. My holes were drilled too far in, I think. You're a little cabinet troll. Get back in your home. I plugged up the holes. So, we'll see. I just did the first coat of stain. I made sure that, you know, I found the proper ways to stain plywood. I got gel stain. I got this lacquer spray that hopefully helps feather in some mistakes. It's probably gonna end up looking like the stairs where hopefully there'll be some wood grain that shows, but it's gonna be quite opaque because it's just looking really bad. <laughs> After the first coat, is looking really bad. I really try and do everything as professionals do it, but maybe I just really went in way over my head on this. First off by trying to cut everything without the proper tools, then trying to fit it even though it wasn't quite square and it wasn't quite mitered properly, and then filling all of that in and then trying to sand all that glue off which then takes off the plywood veneer and then trying to cover that up and it's like, what is that when you're like, you've invested too much into it and you don't want to back out of it kind of feeling? I'm kind of there right now. Oy. It got way too hot. Everything dried up way too quickly. I gotta do this inside. Uh, fumes and all. Seeing it inside with the rest of the kitchen actually looks really nice. It's a very, like, this stain is such a beautiful warm brown. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was all this brown. Not mad. Attempt at second coat, first coat. Ugh. What? It smells like stain. Yeah. Ooh, how's it going? I don't know. <laughs> We're committing. Steph told me, he told me that I need to stop trying to perfect the shelves. I'm not even the perfectionist in this relationship. You gotta encourage good habits. What does that mean? I You're have encouraging... bad habits. <laughs> I have bad habits. You're encouraging me to be less perfection? Yes. This? Oh, I'm pretty sure they're in an okay place. I'm pretty happy with them be fine. for what they are, but they're definitely not. Also, I didn't dry fit them. Oh my god, it doesn't look bad. Yep. Why am I shocked? <laughs> okay. So that it doesn't, it doesn't wiggle that much, actually. Holy fuck. Look at that fitment, though. I know, I told you I had to do it flush. You said I was stubborn, but I was stubborn for a reason. Well, do you see the bottom of it? Do you see under the cabinet? Yeah. No, like when you're regular standing. Because I don't see the bottom <laughs> under yeah, the cabinet. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Your perspective in life is so different from my perspective in life. What Do you see the top of the cabinet? Yeah, I see the top. <laughs> I don't see any of the top. <laughs> I only see the top. All of the top. Even now, I don't see any of the top. Just a little bit. Oh, fuck. Now, slowly, so slowly. Okay, I can.
can do this. Yeah? Yeah. So out of an abundance of caution, we're screwing the shelf through to attach it to the frame. We're definitely an overkill, kind of. Yeah. There's still a lot to be done in this kitchen. On the other side of me right now, there will be a fridge box and a breakfast nook built eventually. We have lots of summer projects lined up. I know that this has taken a while, whether it's performance anxiety or work behind the scenes. There's a lot that I'm trying to do internally to get things growing for this channel. And at the same time, I've officially applied to go back to school to learn more about this world. It's a carpentry program. Like, come on, this was just life-changing stuff. I don't know, I fell in love. If you see the rest of this kitchen, we still have under cabinet lighting to do. None of the drawers are really filled or they're filled with junk. We finally put away our garbage can. We have a garbage can now. This is gonna be a pull out garbage receptacle. Otherwise, um, yeah. Guess what we're building next? Hint, it's a workshop. That's not a hint. It's gonna be outside. Mm -hmm.